there are only two kinds of Christians. Healthy Christians and sick Christians. Either you're healthy, either you're eating the word, you're digesting the word, you're memorizing the word, you're meditating on the word, you're overcoming sin by faith through the power of God, or you're not. God says there's no middle ground. Either you're healthy or sick. Which are you? What do healthy Christians look like? Well, it's in your notes. I call it the Calvary Road, the way of the cross to holy living. What is holiness? It's sanctification. What is sanctification? Being useful to God. This phone is not useful to me if it doesn't work, if it doesn't have power, if, if the screen is so broken my finger, you know, I can't move stuff around. It's not useful to me. It's just a $600 paperweight or a very expensive hammer. Did you know we were bought at a price so God can use us? That's what a servant is. I want to be used by God. It starts... To be useful to God, it starts with love. Do you all know what John 14, 21 says? That's a verse every believer should have memorized. He that has my commandments, Jesus said, and keeps them is the one that loves me. Love is knowing the word of God and responding to it. And saying, like Samuel did, speak, Lord, your servant hears. Number two, we, if we want to be useful to God, we have to be trained by grace. Do you know what Titus 2.11 says? The grace of God that brought you salvation teaches you to deny ungodliness. You know, people say, I'm under grace. What they're saying is, excuse my behavior because you can't condemn me because I'm under grace. That's not biblical grace. The grace of God that brought salvation teaches us to deny ungodliness and to live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2, 11 to 13. To be useful to God, you have to love Him enough to respond and say, I want to obey. And you have to be trained by grace to say no to sin. And then you have to practice daily what Ephesians 4.22 says. Ephesians 4.22 has three settings that you put off, be renewed, and put on. You put off every time the old me shows up. I love shaving every day because it reminds me of the old nature. All the prickly, all the, the, the kind of scrubby look. Now, I know it's kind of cool to look that way, but I'm not from that generation. We like to shave. But uh, the, the, the whiskers remind me of my old me, prickly, selfish, coming out, and I get to get rid of that. That's putting off. Every time the old me shows up, selfishness and pride and lust and impatience and fearfulness and anxiety, grace teaches me that I can mortify that and put it off and be renewed. As Mark said, it's our minds where, and also Tom said that the first day, he was talking about that in your theology class or whatever he was teaching. We be renewed and then we put on. Being kind to people, being loving, being patient is a putting on and allowing Christ to live through me. And that's how we're useful. And then we make a sacred vow. And if you've never seen Psalm 101, and boy, I only have a second to read this. I'll read it to you. Oh, come on, if I can be faster than the bell. Psalm 101 says, I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. Verse 3, I hate the works of evil. They will not cling to me. To be useful to God, you make a sacred vow, and then you clear out the bad files.